The SeaSnake LCD Pack is a camera control unit that provides video monitoring and camera control capabilities for all SeaSnake camera systems. The unit includes a 10-inch LCD color monitor and can operate on either AC or battery power using one or two rigid 18-volt lithium-ion power tool batteries. The LCD Pack's transmitter clip-on terminal provides a connection point for a rigid line transmitter. Connecting a rigid transmitter to the clip-on terminal lets you apply a tracing signal directly to the SeaSnake push cable so you can follow its path out to the sonde. In the next few minutes, we'll show you the LCD Pack's features and demonstrate how to operate its controls. The LCD Pack has a sturdy metal housing to protect it during transport and use. On the bottom of the housing, you'll find a kickstand that lets you tilt the unit to a comfortable angle. The front cover protects the unit during transport and serves as a sunshade for the monitor when performing an inspection. To open the cover, press the release buttons on both sides of the case and raise the cover until it locks into position. To close the cover, press both buttons, then lower the cover until it locks into the closed position. The rear of the unit contains the AC power cord and battery docks. To power the unit from an AC source, unwrap the power cord and plug it into an AC outlet. Please note that the AC cord is for powering the unit only and will not charge the batteries. The LCD pack can also be powered with 18 volt lithium ion power tool batteries. Batteries and charger are sold separately and can be purchased from your authorized rigid dealer. To install the batteries, slide them into the battery docks until they click into position. The LCD pack will operate on either one or two batteries, and you can swap batteries without powering down the unit. Two fully charged batteries will give you up to four and a half hours of operating time, and one battery will give you about an hour and 45 minutes. The LCD monitor features a high-quality 10-inch color screen. If necessary, you can adjust the screen's image settings via its front panel controls, and the printed operator's manual contains information on how to do this. Right below the monitor, you'll find the SeaSnake system connector jack, operating controls, battery meters, video output jack, and transmitter clip-on terminal. The SeaSnake system cable on the camera reel plugs into the system connector jack. Position the connector so that the ridge on the strain relief is on top. Then push the connector halves together and snug down the locking ring. The power key turns the system on and off. Press the key once to turn the system on and press it again to turn the system back off. The dimmer key adjusts the brightness of the camera's lighting elements. When first powered on, the lights will be at their maximum brightness. To quickly cycle through the brightness range, press and hold the key. To make finer adjustments, use individual key presses to select your desired brightness. The SOND key toggles the camera's inline transmitter, or SOND, on and off. When the SOND is operating, the LED next to the key will light up, and if your reel is equipped with a Count Plus data display device, a SOND icon will be displayed on the monitor screen. You may also see faint noise lines on the screen. These lines are normal and will disappear when you turn the SOND off. The zero key provides the same functionality as the zero key on the Count Plus data display device. If your reel is not equipped with a Count Plus, ask your rigid dealer about upgrading. Refer to the operator's manual shipped with your SeaSnake camera reel for instructions on operating the Count Plus. The battery meter show the power level of each installed battery. As a battery becomes progressively discharged, its LEDs will turn from green to green and red, then to red. About a minute before the unit shuts down, the red LED will begin blinking rapidly, accompanied by rapid beeping. The video out jack provides a video signal to an external recording device, and the transmitter clip-on terminal provides a connection point for a rigid line transmitter. 
Connecting a rigid transmitter to the clip-on terminal lets you apply a tracing signal directly to the C-Snake push cable so you can follow its path out to the sonde. Once the camera is in position, connect one lead of your rigid transmitter to a ground stake. And connect the other lead to the transmitter clip-on terminal. Then press the transmitter key to activate the camera sonde. Turn the transmitter on and select your desired frequency. 8 or 33 kHz seem to work the best. Turn your receiver on and select a line tracing frequency to match the transmitter. Now you can trace the C-Snake push cable just as you would any other buried conductor. Keep an eye on the signal readings. When they drop suddenly, you've walked past the camera head. At this point, you can switch to sonde mode and locate the sonde normally. For more information on operating the transmitter or receiver, refer to the respective operator manuals. In the past few minutes, we've given you a quick look at the LCD pack. We've demonstrated its features and controls and reviewed its operation. If you haven't already, be sure to read your operator's manual before using the unit. The operator's manual contains additional information that will help you get the most out of your equipment. Also, stay tuned for Sea Snake Tips and Tricks, which is included on this DVD. On behalf of everyone at Rigid, thank you for choosing Sea Snake Diagnostic Equipment.